Hello there all you brand new bald beautiful bastards and welcome back to Star Sector and more importantly I'm back from holiday and I want to say a gigantic thank you to every single person who has subscribed, watched, liked, commented since this series started. Uh, I have gained more subscribers in the past week and a half than I have in I think the past three months combined, no probably closer to four months combined. So you're all amazing and I really, really appreciate all the support you've shown for the channel in the very short time this series has been running. I made the Star Sector series as a little bit of filler content, as I've mentioned in a few of the comments, as uh, I was really kind of just planning on, you know, throwing this up, going on holiday, coming back and getting back to the daily -to day of live streaming and work and things. And But your response to this series has really, really inspired me to kind of dig down and improve on my content as much as possible. Now, a rather unexpected side effect of this explosion in viewership and interaction uh, has been the number of comments I've received. I normally get like two or three on a video at most, most of which are just kind of like, why are you so goddamn bad at this game? But now I'm getting like hundreds of comments uh, across the entire series, which has been very difficult for me to keep up with. An unexpected side effect of all of this new interaction has been the sheer number of comments and ideas that have been brought forward ever since we started the series. It is pretty insane. I normally get like two or three responses to a video and now I'm getting hundreds. It's been very interesting to try and keep up with and interesting is a euphemism here for hellish. But you know what? I'm already bald so what have I got to lose, right? Oh, it looks like our orbital stations at Kalahari has been built. Now, a few of your comments have been very, very helpful. I is specifically the ones regarding the balance of my changes. The biggest change I've made is to stability. I pretty much took it out of the equation by mistake. While testing for this series, I had tweaked the number of planets I could personally manage to 15, just so that I could see what it if it would work if we had that many planets under control, like if the game would still run. Uh, and then I forgot to change it back. So what I have changed now is uh, this is back to the standard thing i can administer three planets that's the vanilla value but instead of only being able to hire one or two administrators per uh sort of administrative level cap which comes with the next relin mod i have made it to like 20. so we can hire a lot of administrators but of course we are going to have to pay for them to work for us that's very important to keep in mind now our stability went from 10 to 4 which means our monthly income has been absolutely decimated by this change. It's still pretty high. It's not bad at all. Once this orbital station comes online, we'll get another point in stability here, which will, again, improve our uh, improve our credits per month. We could uh, turn on Freeport, which would give us... Uh, we'd actually lose money, and that's because of the stability loss. Stability is a very, very big uh, factor when it comes to the multiplication of your value. As you can see, we're currently multiplying by 0.8, so we're losing 20% due to low stability. If we can get this up to 5 or 6, uh, I think it's up to 5, then we get 100% of what we would earning, and any stability above that just gives us a bonus to our monthly credit. So that's something I've changed. Another sort of big category of the comments revolved around min-maxing the ships. Now, uh, many of you are new here, many of you uh, play the game differently, and that's totally awesome. Please do leave your ideas and suggestions in the comments below, I'm happy to read them. However, I'm going to tell you right now, I long ago stopped playing games for efficiency and started playing them for fun. So, the, I might not implement your suggestions, I might, I'll never ignore them, I'll always read them, I might make the changes if, you, if they're like really, really interesting. But for the most part, I'm kind of just going to do my thing, uh, just so you know. But like, I'm very happy to hear your suggestions, but I don't play games as efficiently as possible. I play them in a way that makes them as fun as possible. It is the doom of all gamers to uh, efficiency their way out of fun. And I'm really, really trying to avoid doing that uh, for the past couple years, really, ever since I started making content. Because I, I, mean, I used to play games like Factorio and Dyson Sphere Program and stuff religiously. And uh, those are all about, you know, the fun is the efficiency. But for games like Star Sector, that's not the case. The fun is the story. It's, it's, it's well, for me anyway. The fun is, is building the narrative. And so that's exactly what we're doing. And the narrative we're going to build today is absolutely pulverizing these stupid, stupid idiots who have decided to try and raid our system. I think uh, a single Paragon could probably crush this, but I'm a little nervous. So I'm going to bring my Shrikes with me, just as flank. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops, I, uh, I ordered resolved that. I actually, I genuinely did not mean to. That was a mistake. Okay, let's chase them down again. Oopsie, pursue them. Ah, I clicked, ah, okay, okay, okay. No, that's on me, that's on me. We're gonna send them again, just like this. Ah, but now we're pursuing. We might not catch them. The, the, 
The thing about the Paragon is that it is like comically slow. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring in a couple of these craft if we want to catch them. Go. They'll come in from the sides. Alright, so as for the future of this series, I think we're going to need to speed up a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to do sort of more content recording in between episodes and then probably have more edits in those episodes. So episodes might get a little bit longer, but they're also going to become slightly less frequent. Uh, I can't upload every single day, it's just not possible. Also, my voice might crack as this recording goes along. I am currently fighting off a nasty, nasty throat infection, and <laughs> it's uh, it's been hell, let me tell you. But it's okay, we move, we thrive, we survive. But enough talking about the metagame stuff, there's actually something I want to really, really know from all of you watching the content for the first time. You haven't watched my content before, and that is very simply, what do you like about it? What drew you to the, this episode? Was it the thumbnail? Was there something about it? And then what made you stay? What made you say, damn, I'm, you know what? This guy's onto something. I think I'm going to stick around and watch because, I mean, I don't know why people like my content. I just, I just kind of do what I'm, what I feel like doing, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it works, and uh, sometimes it spins out of control, uh, much like Houston over here. Alright, looks like we got them all. That's very cool. I will not be recovering any of those ships. We are uh, we are beyond such petty considerations. Also, don't need 63 fuel. We're beyond that too. Now, what I really want to focus in on today is sort of fortifying our position. Now that we've got the stability, you know, I want to, I'll call it a bug. The spagility, <laughs> spagility. Now that we've got the stability bug fixed, we are going to have to start wondering about how we're going to maintain our foothold in the galaxy, reinforce it as much as possible, and then expand from there. We have handicapped ourselves slightly, as some of the comments pointed out, by initially colonizing two systems instead of one sort of great, good at everything system. We've got two systems that are kind of average. Uh, for example, this one here only has one permanent uh, hard point, you know, for us to install comm relays, navigation beacons, sensor relays, all that. The comm relay is the most important because it gives you a stability bonus, by the way, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, but but you can't with the mods I've got, you can actually create new stable positions in a in a system. This system has no stable positions. Uh, it's got a comm relay, and I never claimed it. I swear to God, stuff is just spawning in. Because <laughs> every time I come here, I keep finding more stuff I somehow didn't see before. Anyway, we have built orbital stations about around both of our worlds, mostly for the stability buff, more than anything else. 53 days left on the patrol HQ, that's going to buff it even further. I'm thinking that Kalahari over here is going to be our primary production, like industry planet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to slap heavy industry on this, and that's going to pump out ships for us. Uh, we'll also convert this into a military fortress facility at some point. Gobi over here is, I think, it's kind of hellish, and I have had a lot of had a lot of suggestions telling me to terraform it. I think that's a very good idea because we can remove a lot of these modifiers. It has no real natural resources to speak of. It's got a little bit of mining, but this would be a good candidate for a refining planet. Uh, and then finally, Chris here is of course just an incredible planet. This is like this is one of the best planets I've ever seen in Star Sector. The big thing for me is having rich farmland. Uh, without having ores, which means that we can have farming and also then install a uh, the, the farming buff item, which you, you can't have ores on the planet in order to use it. We do have a spare industry point here, which we are going to want to pick up at some point. I'm kind of thinking of doing integration core first, as this will reduce the destabilizing effect of decivilized civilization over there. Decivilized pop subpopulation. We got bandits, basically. We got bandits all over the skin. We want to get rid of the bandits, then we, by, to do that we build the subjugation core. We could also potentially do it with an with a integration core, it's a lot more expensive. It only takes food, it's a bit cheaper to upkeep over time, but the subjugation core does do it faster. We'll decide that when we have the money, but very broke. And then I want to build a Mesozoic Park. I think this could be really fun. Um, it's basically Jurassic World. Uh, we're going to just slap a bunch of dinosaurs on this planet that will push the hazard rating back up to 100%, but you know what, that's fine. I think that would be very, very funny. Uh, Jurassic World Star Sector Edition. Let's go. Oh, something else that someone pointed out to me, which I did not know and I think is so, so cool, is that your open market is actually always going to be one of the best places to sell metals. Like, unless there's a deficit, like there is, for example, over there in Magellan, we could just purchase up all of this, right? Switch over to our resource stockpiles and then dump them. Oh, sorry, not resource stockpiles, uh, open market. Because they'll buy it at 23, 22 credits. Normally it's 12. 
That is insanely good value. Even with the 9% loss on tariffs, yeah, it's half the normal tariff loss, we get 56k. Just sitting around. Like, I'm not using the metals for anything else, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's start off by uh, sorting out this calm relay, and then I think I'm going to either... I'm, I'm, I'm torn. Look at that. Like now there's a goddamn research base here. Is stuff just spawning in, or did I just not, like, scan this planet? This is this is very funny. There's another there's a, there's, and there, there's a damn <laughs> asteroid belt over there. Clearly, clearly, I just don't understand what I'm doing. I'm gonna take control of the relay, plus two stability in this system. That should have an immediate effect on our finances. Looks like it has. There you go. Income multiplier times one for stability. Stability here is very high. The reason here being that we have uh, the reason the stability is low here is because of the decivilized subpopulation. It gives us a negative two. Commerce gives us a negative three. Honestly, that's worth it. We can offset it with other buildings. We're about to get the orbital station. That's going to be great. Uh, I need to deal with these blade breakers in system, though. That's why we want the patrol craft, so they can fight them. Another debris field. This is comical. Okay, I've got all these uh, heavy machineries, though, which I want to go sell to the Diable Avionics. Now, I think they're hostile. I guess they're selling it to Asharu, the independent world. Uh, because I don't really have much use for that much heavy machinery. It's a bit too much for, uh, for the common man. Let's just put it that way. Okay, let's check out this research base too. Uh, there are some automated defenses here we need to fight. I think we can handle that. Let's continue. I will deploy the capital ships and a couple of eradicators in support. We can probably start leaving behind some of these smaller craft now. I think we're up to the capital ship doctrine part of the game. But uh, it is a lot of fun just to play with these. Let's do it. And something else I really need to get is the skill that allows you to maintain the zero flux speed boost while you've got your shields activated. It is, like, critical for using a Paragon. Alright, we're gonna rotate the Paragon so that our lasers can target this thing. Let's just do it. Ah, you know what? Let's go after this carrier, first and foremost. Our ion beams are gonna knock out these smaller craft, and our heavy beams are gonna knock out these ones. And we've got some blasters. Uh, I did see a comment suggesting that I put it full tachyon beams. I, can't, I couldn't agree more. As soon as we find some, we're gonna be doing just that. That's a very good idea. Yeah, the Paragon's just, uh, it's, it's something, I can't remember, how, how do you say it? It's this gamer term, it's like, starts with an O, ends with a P. Ah, not sure, oop, maybe? Okay, oh my god, look what we got out of this. Okay, let's start at the top. So, we have advanced uh, optics, this is amazing, extends the range of beam weapons by 200. Uh, I think we need to have that on our Paragon, we got pretty much just beam weapons. Shield conversion Omni is pretty damn good as well. Uh, it gives you a 25% reduction in flux cost and then just makes the shield better. It's just a it's just a gimme, really. Neural interface I never use. This allows you to switch between ships much faster as the captain, but I, I don't really ever bother with it. Okay, then as for blueprints, we've got the Hellrider XRM. Interesting. The triple beam cannon. Hell yeah. Sign me up. All right, we've got a burst PD laser. We've got a Iniguri PGL blueprint. And we have the Ludwig Church path blueprint. Uh, that gives us some freighters. Sure. And uh, we got a tech locator, those are helpful. Nice, this is all just in system, huh? Some sigma matter, some unstable sigma matter. Interesting. Okay, still don't really know what we do with sigma matter, but here we are. S mine, just uh, who knows what it means. All I know is that I want it. Also, what did we pick up here? What is it? Logistics core. Ah, that's for the centralization bureau. That's if you've got a. Uh, planets with multiple of the same industries in the same system, you get a huge bonus to production and uh, value output. A day's class cruiser, 102,000 credits per blueprint. I'm gonna learn it. I'm gonna learn it. Uh, and we're gonna say that I'm learning it for, uh, for using later, but realistically, I just like to click the buttons. Okay, we got an M class drone frigate. We can, we can see if we can salvage. Another comment, by the way, and there's going to be a lot of this covered up this episode, did mention that uh, we can use the same skill that allows you to hijack AI, automated ships over here, should allow us to salvage Blade Breaker ships, which would be amazing. Oh my god, it's a goddamn supply cache. This system, something's broken, but I'm not complaining. Also, this planet now produces marines, that is Kalahari. So I'm going to pick up some marines, and maybe, we're going to, maybe we go and do a little bit of raiding as well while we're out and about in the world. 67k for that, but I think we can make that money back. We're going to go beat up some pirate stations and uh, steal their toys. Uh, let's go to... Oh, I'm going to go over this way. We're going to pick this something up there as well. My god, this is ridiculous. 
This is this is clearly bugged. I might I might have to make a little rule which says, uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep farming the system because it is it is getting a little bit ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna take these drugs too. Let's go up to Cantor's Den. We'll sell them some drugs and then we'll blow them up. All right, we are in system. My transponder is off. My is that a minefield? Holy shit! Out. Asteroid impact. We're okay. There we go. We've we've managed to land. Uh, black market. Sell them. Okay, we could sell the logistics core. I'm not that insane. Instead, we'll just dump all of this crap. And of course, bang, 324k right there. That's just such an easy clap. Oh, it's so good. Okay, now there's a huge deficit of marines. I'm not going to sell the marines because we're about to blow them up for their marines. Deficit on supplies. All right, so Counter's Den. What do you produce? Uh, nothing. By the look of it, <laughs> this is kind of just trash. Uh, it is a light industry provider, but it currently has no organics. Meaning that we could technically invade this. Now, I am currently commissioned, I believe, by Tritachion. Yes. And Tritachion has a presence in this system. Right there. They are at Travesina. So we could take over Kunter's Den for Tritachion. But I think that's a bad idea because this thing is almost always out of supply, which means we can almost always make a good... You know, we can sell some drugs here and make some money. If you are commissioned by a faction and you conquer another another faction settlement, that settlement will then go to the faction you're commissioned by. If you found your own colony, like, you know, like we've been doing, then it stays with you. But conquering a place will give it to the other faction. So we're not going to be conquering this. I think we're just going to raid it. Let's consider our military options. We're going to have to engage that battle station. Ooh! That thing is looking fully operational. And uh, let's launch it. I think it's time to engage. Can we launch a raid without? We can. We can. Ah, I see, but they got a two times multiplier. That's bad. We can't orbital bombard it, um, bombard it because of this. So we could reduce casualties by four times. 400% reduction. I think we're going to have to fight the fight. I was thinking maybe we could just raid it. I don't think that's an option. All right, we're going to send everything at this. Uh, there's no real value in doing this beyond just kind of blowing it. What the hell is going on? Oh, there's like a million asteroids around us. Holy shit, we are flying into a lot of them. Okay, my favorite strategy for dealing with stations is to position ourselves on the flanks and then arrive. Otherwise, your fleet kind of gets in the way of each other and they sort of just keep shooting. Uh, you and you are not going to be able to do much today. So why don't you stick around our glass cannon, the Golden Eagle. I've been told I need to slap overdrive and a bunch of heavy ordnance on this thing. And it will absolutely shred. So we're going to do just that. Apparently the Cater Remnant is uh, is really good at that sort of combat. Okay, so let's just keep it going. So as you can see, we're drawing quite a bit of fire right now. That's okay. That is okay. Oof, those are pretty serious uh, ballistic rounds coming in on that Odyssey. This is a very, very dangerous station, which got just hit by an asteroid. Hilarious. Okay, uh, let's spread out a little bit more. I want to get my, my Paragons about over here. We'll cancel these regroup orders and allow people to flow back over. This also does allow us to blow up all their fighters. Very helpful. And let's round them back over. And I'm going to take control again. So I've set up pretty much everything on the Paragon to order fire, including its missiles, because... I think three out of the four slots are, you know, fully automated, as in, like, they don't, uh, they, they, they don't have, like, a minimum amount. They, uh, they don't have a maximum amount, rather. They can just fire forever. Okay, we're gonna have to absorb this cannon fire until the cannons target something else. Now we can turn off our shields, drop that flux level, and put them back on, because this is gonna be a long and difficult fight. I'm gonna go off to the hubs first. We're gonna have to try and defeat in detail here, I think. And let's start blasting off. Yeah, our, our Paragon is good, but it is, it is, it could be better. It could be a hell of a lot better. And so we need to focus on doing just that. It would also be nice if we could get it doing hard beam damage with this, uh, with its beam weapons. Which right now they're not doing, sorry, hard flux damage to the shields. Which right now they're not doing. They just sort of do soft flux, which dissipates even while the shields are up. Hard flux does not. Nice. Okay, that's one segment down. Looks like the rest of my ships are doing okay. I did lose an omen, but that's not surprising. They are rather uh, comically outclassed. Okay, now since we're, being, we're currently facing a hangar module, I'm going to switch off my shields. They can't do too much to me. I've got a lot of front-facing armor. Let's make use of it. Okay, the Odyssey is currently in the way, which is a little annoying. 
this is sort of what I was saying. Your ships do tend to kind of get in their own way. Uh, but we've definitely won this fight. At this point, it's just a matter of trying not to lose anyone else. So you can probably retreat. Um, you can definitely retreat. Yeah, I think we're looking good there. Let's get these fighters out of here. They're not doing much. Let's get these omens out of here as well. Uh, we don't need to escort this thing anymore. Uh, this, this, the rest of the station can be handled by our capital ships. Okay, here we go. We are blasting the final segment. The other pieces have been taken care of. Man, these eradicators are just phenomenal. Like, they can just take... I, I know I gush about them every single episode, but it's 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 just... What other ship can just sit there and just get beaten to hell with other than the Onslaught, I guess? Uh, and just not even flinch, you know? Like, they've been shot by... A and it's got great flux. Like, it's just it's just such a good all-round ship. It's probably my, uh, you know, top ship of the year, Contender. I've obviously been told to use the shift function, which is a good one. It orients your ship towards your target at all times, so you don't end up drifting. Uh, and that way, but it also changes what the A and SD keys, sorry, the uh, A and D keys do, which is a little annoying as I'm not used to using shift. I kind of just roughly orient myself in the right direction, and then I press the left mouse button. You know, brain empty, uh, head full. Okay, we, all we did was lose an omen, and we took out Counter's Den, which is, uh, you know, the most infamous pirate in the land. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset about that. Uh, we got 243 supplies back, um, which sort of just, I don't think it actually even covers the cost of, uh, of fighting that fight. But whatever. We're going to disrupt their, uh, we're going to disrupt their operations here. We spent, we're going to spend 163 fuel to basically destroy their ground defenses. And now we can raid them. So let's go ahead and launch a raid. We're going to try and acquire valuables. And I'm thinking we go for harvested organs. We could get heavy batteries. We could get... How many units would we receive? We get 36 heavy armaments. It's not really worth it, is it? Yeah, this this place is just so poor right now that you're not getting much for it. Um, I'll, I'll go after the, 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 the drug. I mean, sorry, the, the harvested organs. Uh, who needs kidneys when you've got friends? Okay, start that off. Uh, launch the raid. We lost 25 marines. We would have lost 100. No, 100. yeah, yep, yeah, definitely would have been worse. So uh, that's uh, that's a pretty big change. And we got for all that trouble, we got 16 harvested organs. Cool. So that raid maybe that wasn't the play, but it was very fun. And once again, that's kind of what matters here, right? We have a little bit of leveling up to do after all that. So let's go ahead and get Sahar to the next stage. He's currently piloting this. I find ordnance expertise to be one of the best skills in the game. Uh, you get plus two flux dissipation per ordnance point spent on ships. You literally get a refund for more DACA. More DACA. Okay? How could you say no? Just so you know, by the way, guys, I have tweaked the uh, level caps on our pilots. It's now seven, I believe. It's the highest they can go. And I think they can have two skills elite. I've also lowered the number of story points I get per skill level. So instead of eight, it is now four. I think I'm going to give Knee Cruncher energy weapon specialization. Gun and gun sort of gunnery implants is what I would normally get. Uh, simply because of the boosted range. But I'm thinking that Energy Weapon Mastery might be better, because it's plus 30% damage, but only at close range. Now let's get Gunnery Implants. Gunnery Implants is just always good. Like, there's there's never a time you don't want Gunnery Implants. Unless, of course, you're, uh, you know, piloting a Paragon, like me, which uh, doesn't typically use Ballistic Energy Weapons, it uses Beam Weapons. Alright, so we're over on this side of the universe. We did lose a lot of money that month, but that was mostly because of the stockpiles I withdrew. Remember, of course, that we, you know, we did make 320k by spending 170. So that was pretty good economy, I think. We're currently here to find pirates. Uh, the game alleges that there is a pirate bounty over here. We got 14 days to find it and 130k on the table if we can smash him. Pirate base hunting uh, stays winning, let me tell you. Oh, I think we found it. I think it's on the other side of the Grenner Brown Dwarf system over here. Uh, it does indeed look like that's the case. Uh, I'm probably just going to fight this fight with all these ships floating around. Who cares? Oh, it's a high-tech station. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, so I was supposed to sell these and I forgot to. Uh, nothing here is going to be sort of in deficit because these stations are never are. They're always self-sufficient. So we're just going to pick up all their fuel and supplies at great expense. But it's important. keeps us moving. Uh, then we're going to raid them. Then we're going to raid them. We're, uh, we do... You know, there is of course a bit of a problem here in that there is uh, a multiplier, but our uh, we, we, we outnumber them 10 to 1, basically. 
So we're going to try and acquire valuables. Uh, I'm going to steal drugs from you. Definitely going to steal drugs or... Yeah, oh, we get 270 supply. I think that's the play. Yeah, definitely. And light casualties, easy. Launch that raid. Oh, 293 supply? Dude, making me blush. Okay, and let's immediately attack them. Engage the orbital station. Continue. I'm going to send in my two capitals and both my eradicators. And I think that's all we're going to need for this guy. Uh, yeah, genuinely, I think that's fine. Let's try and keep the supply usage a little lower. Oh, shit. The red filter means that we are fighting within the corona of a star. That is, uh... You know, that could be better, but c'est la vie. Alright, nice. Smashed. Oh, uh, I don't think we even scratched the paint on any of our ships. That is a good, good feeling. Alright, let's pick through the wreckage. Let's take it all. And then, of course, we're going to, uh... You know, sort of scrap that debris field as well. Seven. Damn robbery. Uh-oh. There must have been a threat at the colony that we missed. Yeah, this pirate we were being raided by pirates. Okay, we need to head down there pretty soon. But before we worry about that, let's go ahead and deal with this decivilized subpopulation. Now, there's two ways to do this. We can either build an integration core, which will take food. It's very... It costs more once off, but it's a lot cheaper over time. Uh, or we can get the subjugation core, which costs half as much. Takes 30 days to build, and uh, it, but it demands um, weapons. And we're not making weapons right now, and weapons are insanely expensive. So, over time, it's actually cheaper to do this if you're not producing guns yet, which we aren't. The integration core it is. We're going to build that. 60 days from now, we will start removing this decivilized subpopulation. And then uh, we can probably, once that's, once that's built, we will queue up the next one, which is going to be the Mesoic Park at 225k. That's going to be completely doable. So are we being raided? Is that what, did I miss something? Colony threats. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The Ludwig path is also there. Oof. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to go talk to someone in one of the bars. By any chance... Uh, no, I was going to say, is there a pirate base nearby, which, uh, because sometimes factions will put out bounties on the pirate bases that are harassing you. Uh, Star Sector's, you know, it's, it's, it's a game about community at the core. But uh, unfortunately, this time we didn't get that lucky. I would like to now head towards home so we can start dealing with that pirate uh, situation. That's going to be screwing up my stability something fierce. Yeah, yeah, we are hemorrhaging funds because of it. Um, in fact, if we didn't already have a decivilized subpopulation, we'd be at real risk of losing the colony to it. Maybe it is worth keeping that just to immunize ourselves from that. But no, no, no. I think the next thing we need to build here is actually going to be a patrol center. A patrol... Come on. Come on. Patrol. Put, put, oh, wait. I probably can't afford it, can I? Patrol HQ. There we go. 300k. It'll spawn a bunch. Uh, I think that's going to be the play. But first, we're going to build the Mesolithic Park because that makes us money before we buy things that spend money. Okay? Okay? I'm cheap like that. Sue me. It'll be interesting to see if this thing now starts getting uh, demods removed because it has been in this fleet since, like, at least four episodes ago. So what's that? Five or six hours with the gameplay. And it's only had one removed. The, the game seems to remove everything except the poor ISS Demophon. He just really gets the boot. Uh, it's very funny to me, to be honest. Uh, also, here's our next, uh, ve uh, sorry, next victim. I was going to say next uh, stay over, but no, no, they're just they're just victims at this point. Uh, we have a missile station. Very interesting. This is actually not the one I need to fight, but it's kind of the one I want to fight. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's uh, let's hit a quick quick save here and see if we can take this thing on. Okay, so it's got a bunch of defenders. I think this could be really really cool. Let's engage it. Let's send everybody. If we die here, it'll all be a dream. Don't worry. I just, I'm interested to see how this, this plays out. I'll leave the phase ship for now. It's an incredibly good ship. We, I, I do want to change its uh, Mark 11 auto cannon there, whatever it's called for her Festus auto gun. It's just a better, better weapon. But uh, for now, that's going to have to cut it. Uh, I will bring the Zephos in because it's really good at dealing with small ships, but we do need to be careful with them. All right. How do I want to play this? I don't want my guys getting too spread out, as I feel like that station could overwhelm us very easily. Let's see what this does to us. Is this going to be like a fucking nuke? Oh god. Okay, so it's going to be like a goddamn nuke. Cool. Maybe we do want to focus on the station. Oh god, my eradicator. Immediately over... Okay, just temporarily EMPs them. It's not really what I was expecting. Oh, this thing's been completely disabled, and it's not even, they're not even scratching the paint. Oh, you got a love and eradicator. 
Um, can I bring anybody? I, I'm probably going to lose a couple ships on this fight. Yep, like that, uh, that one's already overextended a bit. Like, do I go, do I focus on this or do I take out the little ships first? I think with the Paragon, we gotta take, we gotta take out the, the station, right? Yeah, you guys just need to screen. Just keep screening. Just keep screening. Oh, this thing's so slow. Okay, I think the strat from this point forward is going to be the classic Paragon deploy system where we deploy the Odyssey and the Paragon next to each other and then we bring our faster ships in later just so they're not so offset. Oh shit, that's bad. Okay, if that combos with another major strike, we're dead. Like, for example, a Reaper Torpedo. Okay, that's something to be aware of. I'm gonna, I need to shoot those missiles when they present themselves. Alright, cool, that's one big ship down. That feels important. These little, these little, uh, Imperium auto cannons, or uh, laser cannons, sorry, are actually very, very good at taking down shields, especially if the, the ship has very bad flux stats. Okay, the hammerhead's been lost. Uh, let's bring in a Shrike to back it up. I think that's our support Shrike, right? Have a look at you. No, you are the offense Shrike. Okay, cool. Also, it's got that goddamn mining lasers on it. Chat! I mean, sorry, comment section. How could you let me be so foolish? You know, ignore the previous speech about uh, doing my own thing, going my own way, etc, etc. Uh, I'm an idiot. Correct me. But yeah, no, I think we're definitely going to have to deal with the support fleet. Oh god. Before we worry about anything else. I also need to back off and, and vent. Um, we are uh, we are in a little bit of danger. Okay, at least those drones go down easy. Oh god, look at that reaper. Okay, vent. Vent fast. Vent hard. Uh, I'm, that's Zephos. You guard me now, okay? I need, the, I need the support, clearly, to deal with those fighters. Also, that thing has not shot any missiles at us. I'm assuming that's just one of the turrets. Or it's been shooting at my other ships. Ah, uh, yep, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, the enemy doesn't seem to be coordinating well enough to actually use the MP effect effectively, so... We're gonna, we're gonna count our blessings on that front, I think. I want you to absolutely blast this thing. There we go, get those stupid little gremlins out of here. It's literally what the ship's called, though. Not just, I'm not just being rude. Come on, hit him with the Tachyon Lance. Hit him with the Tachyon Lance, there we go. Okay, get definitely get the Sunder. Okay, now we're starting to slice through him a little bit. Look at that kill feed. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's good stuff. Yes, 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 hit him with the Tachyon Lance. Just get it into range. Get it in angle. There it is, that purple beam slicing through the night sky. Fantastic. Okay, get him, get one, get one, get this one. That's most of the commentary, I'm sorry. It's just get him, get him, get him. That's all I'm capable of right now. Uh, we've lost our Zephos fighters. I'm going to bring in another Shrike and that's it. I'm not going to bring in the, uh, the Phase Frigate. I think it's just going to get killed. Because it really doesn't seem to do... It, it seems to do very... It's like a capital shop. Capital ship killer. It does not seem to be a very good uh, small ship killer. And that's mostly what we're dealing with here. A couple cruisers. But, or cruiser sized vessels. But uh, nothing, nothing we can't really handle with our other ships. Okay, nice. There's the Enforcer that's been knocked out. Let's take out this Brawler. Hopefully those uh, Salamander missiles can take out its engines. Okay, I'm actually going to have to let the Brawler go and tell my Shrike to cope with it. Because I need to deal with this station now, I think. Okay, we're going to temporarily drop shields just because my Flux is getting dangerously high. And then we're going to start shooting. These damn claw, f these claw drones are terrifying. Okay, I need you to focus fire on this thing. We've got some small ships that we need to deal with before we worry about anything else. We need because we need we need the Odyssey to support us, right? I don't think we can actually kill that station on our own, not with our current setup. Come on, Tachyon Lance, get in there. Brawlers do have uh, fortress shields, but so do we if we need them. Okay, it's been knocked out, but it's not dead. Man, those things have really good flux stats, don't they? They just don't do enough damage for me to really reliably use them. I suppose with the right setup, they could be very powerful, especially with shields that efficient. Alright, a bunch of my stuff was taken offline, and not by the EMP rocket, it seems. There's something more insidious. Can, uh, can I disable this so that we split our targets a bit more effectively? Oh, there it is. Finally happened. 
Oh god, oh god. The claws, the claws, they're disabling everything. My engines are out. Okay, okay, shield comes up. Fortress shield, fortress shield. Fortress shield. It's time, it's time. Okay, just while all our engines come back online, use the fortress shield. They can't hurt us if we're in the safe space. Okay, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, wait for the engines to come back. And then back off a little, and then we're actually gonna flank slightly left. Oh, go on, get him with the strike, come on. Yes! Well played. Oh, god, that hurt my throat. Okay, they are bringing in reinforcements, but I'm beginning to think this is the end of the Ludic Path Watches in this system. I don't think this is even the station we have to kill, I think this is just like here. Oh, for God's sake, I got knocked out again, didn't I? Yep. These claws, man. These claws are gonna be the bane of my existence. Oh, there's so many. We need more PD. We need more PD screeners. I, you know what? The omens would be very good at this. Omen. You. You. Where are you? I need you in here. You just you just stick on me, okay? I need you to shoot these damn claw ships down. They're very annoying. Okay, that thing's at 12% combat readiness. It's dead. Uh, that, that does not worry me in the slightest. Oh, Jesus. The Shrike's gonna die, though. I'm trying to shoot them with my main cannons. Damn, that station can really pump these things out, huh? Oh god, my poor Shrike. Okay, face the cannons at it. There we go, the beams will be able to take it out. You, you need to retreat. This thing, this thing's dead. There's, there's no chance. No, not defend. Uh, I need to put you on E. Extreme retreat. E for get the heck out of here, man. Uh, you go on engage. I want you focusing on that. You just, please kill this thing. You, please kill this thing. Uh, you stay on me. And uh, we're just gonna have to, we'll keep the claws busy so that our other ships can deal with that stupid station. Oh god, there it goes. Okay, at least we can now fire without worrying about friendly fire. Why are my shields down? What am I doing with my life? There we go. Okay, the claws are down. The claws are down. It's official. The claws are down, I repeat. The claws are down. We can now begin to encroach on the position of this stupid thing. Alright, that, uh, that, that cannon that's firing so quickly over there on the left-hand side of that station, that's the Hephaestus Auto Cannon I want to install. It is very, very cool. Uh, you need to leave, I think. And honestly, that Eradicator probably needs to go home too, but they're so tough, I'm okay with letting it sit. And even if it dies, it'll just get another one. We have so many back home. Okay, it's time to start really laying down the fire here. The station seems to be a bit of a glass cannon. It's already cracking. Uh, it's just, yeah, I mean, that support fleet was not actually all that good. There was just enough of it relative to my own uh, number of ships. And I think those claw fighters, I mean, we need, to, we need to think about investing. That those really gave us a run for our money, didn't they? Oh, God, there we go. We finally got it. That last piece just took like two or three minutes real time to crack. It was uh, very, very tough. All right, consider ship recovery. We're going to have to pick up all our old boys. And uh, I don't actually want any of this bloody path trash. We're just going to take our our own ships. That apps, that hurt a little bit, to be sure. We're going to have to dump 2,000 that. Yeah, 1,700 supply is uh, pretty tasty, not going to lie to you. Okay, and a ton of fuel, but that's okay. We don't need, the fuel only gets us around the place. We don't really need to store more than we've got, right? And uh, let's do a little assessment here. We can take those. Take all this. Dump some more metals. Oh, they're being attacked. We're being attacked. All right, can I fight this? I think I can fight that. Move into engage. Continue. Send out the capitals. Now we bust out the Demophon. Yeah, definitely not going to take out the Eradicators. They are scuffed. We'll take out these uh, Omens and the rest of us. Okay, lovely. Let's do this. I think we can handle this. I think we can handle this just fine. My uh, Golden Eagle actually is a bit injured, I notice. Uh, he's missing he's missing a few bits and pieces of armor, but other than that, he's okay. He's okay. At least all of our missiles have been replenished. Missiles are only not replenished if you fight battles back to back without leaving the menu screen. Or the battle menu screen, sorry. Okay, blast him. Blast him. I think we want to focus fire on that vessel. Actually, you know what? Take out this goddamn brawler. There's such a pain in... Yeah, no, they don't deal enough damage. It's got like two little auto cannons. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Let's get in close. Let's deal with the larger vessels. The smaller ones we can handle uh, when we've got time for them. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Knock it out. 
he says as he immediately spends all his time dealing with one smaller vessel. He oh, it's just so satisfying to watch them go boom. Okay, take out this thing next. Oh, it stands no chance. Uh, these are tough. They've got a lot of hell plating, but I don't think they've got enough to handle that many laser weapons. Just all firing at them simultaneously. Also, you know, now that I'm looking at our setup, I'm thinking maybe we actually kind of want to make these cannons alternate fire. Rather than all firing at the same time. That way one can reload while the other one is spraying. Maybe we'll have a more continuous fire cycle then. Okay, I'll change that right after this fight. Okay, very nice. Now uh, we need to go find the station we actually came here to kill, I think. Oh, hold on, we can also survey this planet now, can't we? Ah, look at that. Also, patrol AQ has just been built in Kalahari. I just saw that. That's excellent. Uh, what the hell is this? The main artillery station. It has been rendered unusable. Ooh. We have to build an orbital station in order to repair it. That's very interesting. So this, this planet actually has people living on here already. And some extensive ruins. Oh, baby. If it wasn't so far, I'd, I'd colonize it right now. Let's uh, Let's explore those ruins, though. We don't have a VPC. I'm just going to skip past it. Let's just begin the salvage operation. Holy shit, a conquest forge template. It basically gives us a free conquest. Uh, should we want one? Do I want any of this crud? Not particularly. I'll take the weapons. Let's have a look at those weapons real quick. What are those? We have a nanotech, nano, Neonax Shredder. Anti-shield, medium, ballistic, 589 sustained damage. Interesting. And some javelins. Hey, hold on. This isn't Ukraine. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, give me uh, cargo C, 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 E, I, I, J, O, U, P. There we go. Pirate, pirate blueprint frigate. I normally don't use the pirate blueprints because then your your patrol fleets end up just filling with pirate garbage. But but right now we need all the designs we can get. So we're just going to do it. Uh, also, I mean, I'll survey this since I'm here. It's a very cool texture. It looks a bit like, looks a bit like meat. Yuck. Uh, what are you? Random junk. Standard. Standard junk. Okay, where the hell is that? Uh, this, that wasn't the bounty, right? No. No, that was not the bounty. 300k to kill this station. You better freaking believe we are finding this station. Did a sensor pulse. Okay, there's something over here to our left. Ooh, the Pelamon has had structural damage repaired. Awesome. And once again, the Demophon gets passed over for promotion. Oh, sucks to suck, huh? That's a defense watchtower. It's not what we're looking for. I will swing by the research station because there's a chance that there might be a... Sorry, I will swing by the black hole itself. Because there's often research stations built right into them. Aha! There it is. Okay, 300k to kill this thing because it is a fully-fledged battle station. However, as we know, we can win these fights. Um, I just want to back off for a second. We're going to sit over here and just heal. I need my ships at full strength before we do this. I might even try and kit them out a little bit more. Aren't the expenses of 2k? Okay, cool. We're finally starting to break even again. After our uh, unfortunate unfortunate destabilization event. How are we looking over here? Ooh, that's low. Stability is so goddamn low. It's just crazy how little it takes, huh? Okay, but I want to immediately spend the money on the Meso Park. Mesozoic Park, there it is. It'll get queued 90 days from now, we'll have it. Uh, I'm doing that so that I don't spend the money on something else, which we don't need. That's looking great. Okay, these are currently losing us money because of the hazard pay. If we drop that, we will actually make money. But I think I'd rather have the growth. Let's rather get these all up to level 2, because then they start producing more anyway. Man, look at that hazard pay. That's insane. 7% growth boon bonus. Is it like a religious monument? Oh, this is the one with the religious monument. Yeah, it's just so good. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, so good. Okay, this is not good though. We are not being we're not able to export any of our any of our goods because of the goddamn pirate presence in that system. We do need to head home. Uh, but these doing these fights is actually making us more money in the short term. Alright, the Lilic Path has actually chased us down for a bit of a fight. They spawned a patrol fleet out of the station and then hunted me. And they've got a battle cruiser. A Ludic Path standard battle cruiser. This is probably something I want to recover. A third capital class would be amazing. It's in the same sort of like intermediary space as the Odyssey. It's somewhere between a capital ship and a cruiser. And it's definitely something that we want to use. 
I am a little worried about the hull integrity of some of my ships. I'm going to perform some limited effects. Uh, it's going to fix up that Shrike, mostly. There we go. Nice big little, big little bump. And I think we're going to have to move in. Oof. Okay, we'll just try not to bring him in too early then, I guess. How do I want to do this? We're definitely going to want you for this fight. So, uh, yeah, bring in an omen, and we'll use that to screen the Paragon. Okay, let's try this. I should have... Uh, whoopsie, I should have brought in a couple of frigates to capture these command points. That is on me. Okay, I think the way I want to do this is say, take this with you lot. The rest of you kind of move where you want. I want you two up there. You move over here with this one. Yeah, you stick with me. No, you go up there. You go up there. No one stick with me. We don't have we don't need to worry about that. Just for the moment anyway. Just gonna see how we do here. Just gonna see how we do. Okay, so the eradicators already encountered a hound. Bloody path is freaking scary when they're in force. Because their ships are uh, they're built around a similar doctrine to mine, which is just kind of well, actually, no, sorry, they're not. They're built around the opposite Doctor to mine, which is a really good counter. I like having a, a small number of very powerful ships. They like having an insane number of very bad ships. And uh, they sort of, they work by defeating in detail. And I just realized I've split my forces. I've literally handed some of those ships to them on a silver platter. So I think we're going to want to regroup our troops. Yeah, we're going to say, that's good enough. You guys come over here now. I'm going to say, I don't, need, I don't care about that anymore. Bring you back over this way. For some reason, they deployed a troop transport to the front line. Well, you know what? I can't say I'm complaining. Uh, that kind of military strategy, that's what makes you the uh, preeminent worst terrorist organization in the galaxy. Oh, and I forgot to uh, unlink the damn firing arc on these things. That's on me. But it's okay. We're uh, once again stuck with the brawler. These seem to be our bane. Because we don't do any hard, damn hard flux damage. It's okay. Soon. Soon, my precious. Yes. Soon your engines will over be, be flamed out and and thusly I spake, etc, etc. I don't know, I'm not very good at the whole theological uh, mystery. Okay, uh, you two are going to be able to handle those without any trouble. You go get that sensor jammer. Uh, you go get this nav boy. And then I want the rest of you going down here. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Yeah, those eradicators will be able to handle those those uh, little cargo ships without any trouble at all, I'm confident. There we go, I need to deal with these ships. Odyssey can handle that, I mean, that's that's a joke compared to it. But we need to deal with that thing. This bad boy, right, it's very slow, maybe we maybe we won't recover it? I don't know, I'm, I'm just a sucker for big ships. Oh, big ship doctrine, let's go. Ah, ah! I'm also a sucker for letting hammerhead torpedoes hit my front hull plating. That's uh, you know, that's a, that's a real enjoyable time for me, clearly. But you, you, you think anyway, by the sheer goddamn amount I let it happen. Oh, there we go. We're finally catching up with the flux. Oh, I see. I was mount. It's got like a hull plate in the front. That's what I was mousing over. No, the ship's flux is terrible. I don't know why I thought it was good. Also, please deal with this goddamn buffalo. It keeps shooting reapers at me. Could you, could you, could you, could you? Thank you. There we go. Let's also keep all our lasers pointed at this thing. That way, the second it comes out of warp, we uh, we smash it. We smash it dead. Ah, the Atropos! Oh, okay. Oh, they're a Reaper! Ah, I'm being flanked! I'm beset by enemies on all sides. Okay, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him before he comes out of phase. Here we go. He's going to have to stick his head out of the water eventually. And then... Oh, baby. And then... He dies like that. There we go. Well, I do feel like a bit of an idiot for spending that story point on the Shrike. We didn't even need it in the end. I, I really thought we were in more trouble. Um, that that fleet was kind of stupid. I think dividing their fleet, like making, forcing them to split up and chase our weaker segment, because uh, the AI clearly looked clearly looked at my initial move to send my ships down here and said, "Well, I mean, I'm just going to prioritize those, kill those off, and then uh, and he can't do anything." But we then we 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 we, we, we regrouped. God. We regrouped and uh, we got around it. Sometimes, sometimes my mouth just, it doesn't make the word good. So nice. No, no. Okay. Second in command. Could you please handle this? I think I'm having a stroke. I, do I want this thing? It is apparently going to cost me no supplies. 
whatsoever. Ah. Crazy how nature do that. Um. Sure. Maybe we could make something of it. Comment section. How should I fill that out? Let me know. Oh, we got a milestone for that. The bigger they are. Uh, fight in a battle where the enemy capital ship was destroyed. Easy peasy, baby. Oh, we got another level. Awesome. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Systems expertise? We don't need systems expertise. I'm thinking combat endurance, man. Some more combat readiness? That'd be pretty good. Maybe, uh... Less hull damage taken? Maybe... Maybe just energy weapon mastery. Maybe it's time. We do get in close all the time, so let's just do it. And we produce less flux when we fire. That sounds good to me. Also, some officers have leveled up. Riley David, uh, you now have ordnance expertise. Once again, my favorite skill in the game. I'm actually going to make that elite. I'm going to spend a story point for it. A little pricey, but maybe worth it. Uh, it looks like we can't only have one elite skill. Okay, that's good to remember. Uh, missile specialization for show. Really good. 100 extra doubles your missile capacity. Man. Or uh, for a ship like this with all those those points, that's a really nice one. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Ordnance Expertise on the Odyssey as well. It's, it works well with capital ships. And uh, I would like to make that skill elite, but she's already got one. Not Chaos has already got an elite skill, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get target analysis for more damage. Really good for these eradicators. And I think let's go ahead and throw down... For a strike, I mean, it won't always be a strike, but let's get some better shield modulation. Also, just a, just a good skill to have. Never never misplaced. We can actually kit this out a little bit right now. In fact, we can do one thing, which is to swap this over for... Oh my god, the Faudian Lance. A large energy weapon by the Bultak Corporation. That's 444 damage. You don't say. 593... 480. I'm just a big believer in the Hephaestus Assault Cannon. It's got such good flux stats for what it is. And it's not that expensive on Ordnance Points. Let's give it some more flux capacity. Someone was shouting at me, saying I never give them enough flux capacity. Are you happy now, Mom? Are you happy now? Okay, how are we going to kit this thing out before we uh, spend the money on the combat readiness? Because we could use this in our fight against the Ludic Path. Alright, so we've got a medium ballistic turret. I mean, you tempted me with a degeneration cycler. With a name like that, how could I say no? But I'm thinking the Teth Plasma Cannon, just because it sounds cool. And has an 800 range. Does some EMP damage, too. That's pretty tempting. Uh, then we also have two side-facing missile bays. So a Harpoon would be pretty good for that, because they've got tracking. Uh, the Maiden and the Salamander might be better. Sort of kit this out more in like a support roll rather than a strike roll. Because we've got the Hammer Barrage to really finish things off. And I'm actually going to swap that out for a Reaper. Have you got... Uh, you don't have weapon, missile, ballist, missile mastery, do you? No. I'm going to swap you out for this guy. Because you, Riley David here, he's got missile specialization. I think that's a more reasonable play. And then with that as being the case, we might actually want to swap this over to... This, a smart plasmid mortar. What do you do? You track enemy ships to impact. That sounds awesome. Let's try that out. Smart Plasmids and uh, Harpoons. I think that's how we're going to get this out. Because then this turret can fire the Reapers directly. Then I'm thinking I want a... A Sargene Autocannon. Head up with a Mark 10. Have this thing as like an anti-shield smasher. Because that way it's, uh, it's Reapers can get in. And we've got so, two more forward-facing Ballistic Turrets. 900 range. 900 range. What do we want to, what do we want to use here? I'm thinking we want the the Sleeg Autocannon, anti-shield, pretty intense, 800 range. Paired up with the, the nice helping of a heavy autocannon maybe? Nah, maybe the Ganeg, the Ganeg Cannon. Uh, just because it sounds silly. Then we got a rear-facing medium turret, that's going to be great for a flak, of course. I think, that's, uh, I think that's an obvious choice, to be honest. And a small ballistic turret, just to help protect the engines a bit more. Let's go with uh, Light Jewel Machine Gun. Okay, so this ship is uh, its an interesting one. It's a bit of a glass cannon at present. Although 50,000 hull, never mind. It's a bit of a, a stoic freaking monolith. Heavy armor might be something we want to build in here. Uh, as would be... As would be... Augmented Drive Field, just so we can keep moving fast. I want to be really light on my feet. Early game, we can always, we can always rebuild these ships later to be... 
more flexible. We need a dock to build that in. Okay, I see, I see. In that case, yes, do give me that dedicated targeting core. Do I not have integrated targeting core? I do. Much better, 60% range boost. That's a, that's a have to have, I think. Auxiliary thrusters, that thing was very slow to turn. I'd like to see that improved. Let's go ahead and boost those uh, flux dissipation points. Uh, I will take some off of here just to appease the crowds and we'll put that in there. Heavy armor being built in is definitely a good idea though. I think that's a have to have, right? Yeah, I think that's a have to have. Okay, so we're gonna be a little slow until we can get to a dock. But for now, that's looking pretty great. So let's bump you up to here. And let's just sit in this debris field stealthily, 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 until our repairs are complete. All right, it's going to take almost a month for us to get this thing fully combat ready. So I think I'm just going to attack. Uh, it'll take over a month for us to get its combat readiness up to spec. So I think we're just going to attack the station now. And uh, I think we're just going to run away from the station real quick because Nova Harbor is protected by three fleets. And I need to get home and deal with our private problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what's, that's the, yeah, okay, cool, yeah, I mean, decision made, decision made, we'll come back for you, we'll, we'll hang out sometime, promise, the next time I'll bring snacks even. Our integration core has been completed at Chris, and we are currently in the Coupe system, and looking for, uh, what's her name? Lara Barton, she's got a couple of capital ships I kind of want, an obsolete dreadnought? Baby, I'm there. So, Lara is allegedly around an Eladia an irradiated world in the Gamma Cooper system. That happens to be where we just are right now. And uh, I see an irradiated fleet. Major sensor contact over there. Let's head, we hit and hit a real quick auto save. This could be quite dicey. We're going to back off a little bit further. I want to see if, if there's anything in system we can use to our advantage before we fight them. I might want to fight them in an asteroid belt. Uh, it tends to really frustrate the AI's targeting. How are we doing on your repairs? You could actually go into battle. Combat readiness is a little lower than I would have liked. We got no bonuses particularly, but it's not bad either. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can try it. The burnt offering might need to fly again. Okay, let's try this out. Let's see if we can take on Lara Barton and her forbidden her forbidden fleet. Two hundred k if we can kill her. Uh, it was three hundred k for that Ludic Path station, which we no longer have access to, which does hurt a little bit. But this might be the next best thing. I'm gonna put the. the I'm actually gonna save the battle cruiser for now and rather put out the eradicators. I'm worried we're gonna get swarmed. Uh, we'll bring the battle cruiser in once we kill some enemies. And we'll see how it copes with the fighting men. All right, so this thing's now alternating, which means we should be able to look at that. Can I still maintain a constant stream? Almost. Almost, not quite. Okay, so we need that skill that allows you to build, not build, what's the word I'm looking for? We need the skill that allows you to kind of speed up your capture rates on that. Uh, re, 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 reloading, reloading, that's the word, Jesus. And I am on so many paid medications right now that I, uh, <laughs> for the for the throat infection that I, I cannot think words are not for me no good, nah, uh-uh, bad. Sorry if you hear a few scratching noises in the background as this fight continues. My cat has found a pencil sharpener and decided it doesn't like the fact that it's on the desk. Uh, he is doing everything within his feline power to make sure that it never sees its family again. A real monster through and through, to be honest. But anyway, uh, we need to continue making sure several thousand more people never see those families again. Oh my god, the golden eagle for retreat! Retreat, you fool, you're overextended, uh, as am I. Okay, cool, you need to get the hell out of this. You need to get the hell out of this place. Thank you. Can we bring in any reinforcements yet? Yes, we can. Deploy that. Immediately get that ship of the line in here. Oh god. Oh god, he's dead. Maybe I can help him. No, but he's dead. He's dead. Yep, he's dead, Jim. Oh god, Jim, he's dead. Why? Right, this thing hasn't. Does this thing not got shields? I don't think that thing's got shields. Alright, but uh, bring in the shrikes. I'll bring in that shrike anyway. Stop trying to take this. Instead, fight. I think you can win that fight. I'm going to get you to, to smash it. Uh, I want you up here with us. You just keep hitting and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep hitting and running. That's what you're good at. Okay, let's see if we can deal with this big boy. It doesn't look like he's got shields, which uh, is kind of goofy. I see why it's outdated. But maybe, just maybe, we can... Uh, oh my god, it can lay down some fire, though. Jesus, look at the damage output on this thing. Okay, we need to back off a little bit. We need to back off a lot. 
And I'm going to need to drop shield. And then pick it up again. Okay, I'm going to have to do the shield, uh, the shield wiggle. Okay, we need to start killing some of these smaller ships so that we can focus up and gang up on the big one. Uh, in order to pull that off, we are going to start uh, sort of flanking around. This thing can barely move, uh, but so can, you know, neither can we. Let's be, let's be uh, equal opportunity uh, discriminator here. Uh, but we need, to, we need to move a little bit more if we want to survive this, I think. We could just wait for them to run out of missiles, but I don't think that's a good idea because I don't know what this thing's power... Like, he's got like a level 7 officer in there too. That must be Lara herself. Oof. Yeah, that thing's going to be hard to crack. I think we're the only way we're going to kill it is if we swarm it. So let's start taking out some of these ships that are on their own. That way we can move a bit more. What the hell is... Something here is out of... CP already? Can't be you, surely. No, you're fine. Weird, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Oh, we have actually... Okay, we're doing some hell damage over here. That's unexpected, but very welcome. Hold on, maybe, maybe we need to push the advantage a little bit. If we can take Lara out, the morale on her crew is going to collapse. Uh, and we might, we might be able to force a retreat a little sooner. Also, it would be a lot easier to kill the smaller ships if we didn't have to deal with this giant frickin' bastion in the middle of the map. Okay, we have no I was hoping we'd flame out the engines there with that pass, but we did not. Uh, we are currently firing into this one's armored sides. I'm going to see if I can't flank a bit more to the left. Does not look like I'm going to be able to easily. Okay, cool. We're immediately going to drop shields and then deploy them again. I have lost forward-facing armor, that is concerning, but not critical. I think we'll take that opportunity to vent. There's some minor, minor missiles coming our way, but nothing we can't fight off. Okay, let's get the shield up again. We did take an unnecessary hit there, I was, uh, I was slow on my shield returns. Okay, but this thing's dead now. I think we've managed to whittle away enough of that plating. We're to the point where we can now actually begin to fire for effect. Jesus, I feel like its armor is being restored, right? Like we seem to keep hitting it, even if it's like blacked out completely. This is a tough cookie. Now this is the kind, like, I mean, this is an eradicator on steroids. Maybe, hold on now, maybe I'm not, hold on, I'm having some dangerous thoughts here, comment section. I'm, uh, I'm beginning to think maybe there's a chance we could make this thing work for us. Also, my shrikes keep getting blown up and I'm very upset. With a better weapons complement, this thing could be an absolute monster. Oh god, okay, whoopsie, I got I got a little brutalized there. Uh, he's dropping mines on me somehow. Okay, their larger ships have sort of peeled off that way. I'm gonna take the opportunity to sort of get in here and try and reconnect with this one, because the Odyssey is maneuverable enough that it'll be okay on its own. Uh, we, need to, we need to connect up with some of these guys. Yeah, let's take out this, if we can take out this carrier, That'll remove a lot of firepower from the map. That would be very good for us. Come on. Come on. We just need to knock through. There we go. Okay, cool. That's a, that's a carrier out of the game. And let's knock out that frigate as well. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you you keep those two busy. You keep the, my PD lasers busy, I guess. Sure. Don't seem to have a choice. Okay, we need to kill this thing next. It's a very asymmetrical looking ship, but it looks like it's a bit of a glass cannon. Those are my favorite kinds of cannons, if they're on the enemy's team. Okay, cool. That one's out. Jesus, man. These, these, this faction does a lot of damage. I need to work out who they are and uh, and get on board with them. Oops. We got very lucky that that explosion wasn't closer. That could have been a bit more deadly. Uh, they're trying to flee. I need you to kill this person, please. And shit, the captain got away. Okay, we're going to have to fight her again. But uh, that ship's that ship's, that ship's done. Uh, we managed to win. And I want to take out these large ones uh, while we still have the, the space. This thing is this thing is really holding its own. I'm very impressed with it. It's not quite 1v1ing, but it is absolutely keeping pace. And the Odyssey. Oh, the beautiful Odyssey. These cannons, these, uh, these ones that shoot the red projectiles, I can't remember what they're called. Best decision we ever made for this thing's loadout. A lot of people were saying, oh no, it's that's not the right setup, there's a different ways to do this, I'm sure there are, but this just, it, it just works and it looks cool. Oh shit, we lost the demo fun. Well, we can add some more debods to the list uh, that don't get repaired. Yeah, the demon, demon stays loose. Oh wow, double kill. Not bad for your first foray. You know what? 
five ships to take out a fleet like that. I think that's the that's a price I'm willing to pay. Um, also, I'm going to I want the satisfaction of killing this asshole, but I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let the second in command handle it just so we guarantee the kill. Otherwise, I'm worried they're gonna get away. There we go. We have done it. We have done it. Let's recover our class of ships. I I kind of obsolete protected cruiser. I I, can't, I don't think I don't think they fit the the bill for our team. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. It's a shame because they're very interesting, but I don't think they quite fit the doctrine I'm going for here. I I don't particularly even know what the doctrine is. Uh, let's just be completely transparent. But I'm trying. Okay, we are back home, and I'm just going to be slowly picking apart the remaining pirate raiders. They're preventing all of my damn exports from getting through, and that's not going to be fine. We are not okay with that. It is hurting our bottom line, and there's nothing more important than the bottom line. Uh, except maybe the top line. No one ever talks about the top line. What is a top line, and why am I still talking? Oh, uh -huh, you think you think you have a chance? You're mistaken. Okay, let's go ahead and offload all of this. If you're wondering how I'm offloading this quickly, by the way, you hold Alt and just drag over it. This is something you have to enable in the game's uh, config file. You can't do it within the in-game menu, I don't think. Uh, you have to actually like go in and, and manually edit that yourself. There are tutorials online on how to do it. But yeah, we've gotten a ton of kit out of that, plus a bunch of supplies. That VPC is just really starting to pay for itself, isn't it? But we got 400k sitting in the bank, and we have already purchased our next structure, the Mesozoic Park. Which is really going to bring in quite a bit of cash. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be in the 40k range. Uh, the larger the settlement gets, the more money it makes. It works like that. And it works quite well. Kalahari is in a bad way. Uh, and it's mostly because this stuff just isn't worth anything. It's normally worth quite a bit, and right now it's worth like nothing. The global market cap for metals is enormous, though, I'm noticing. Yeah, it's like four times. Normally, light industry is the play, but here I'm thinking maybe, maybe, just maybe, we want to actually be getting into some refining. Holy hell. Ship hulls, 153k. Supplies, 148. Yeah, metals, man. It's all about the metals. Also, I mean, this is, this is making us some bank. We just need to really start pumping up that production. Or start disrupting that production elsewhere. Tortuga Station. Knock that out, that'll free up 3%. We could, uh, we could really lean into the drug trade thing. With the free port status, it does mean we can export it. Six stability, and we're still getting that low. We're now on three stability here, thankfully. Pirate activity is still ongoing, but the submission integration core got another year left. And then this will go away, and that'll give us 40% uh, more income, which is going to be pretty huge. Uh, plus this thing. I imagine that this will probably destabilize the planet slightly as well. Let's, uh, yeah, let's be honest about that. Um, but it'll go over here, it'll just increase the hazard rating, that's all I think. Alright, anyway guys, that is all we have time for today. What an incredible day, what an incredible series of events. Mostly we just ran around and killed things and caught up with each other, but in the next episode, not exactly sure when it'll come out, I don't want to say tomorrow just yet, uh, we, will, we will discuss more and we will work out what we're doing next. Also, the unthinkable has happened and the Demophon actually had one of its demods removed. I know, I know, tell your children, it act you were here. You were here, chat. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Kelly and Nanas, Colby Bow82, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, Badass Beast, Pratt and Perush, Rivo, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, Not K Arthur, Adachi Fanboy, Couch Potato, Rob, LCG Canyon Zahar, Jack Smallman, Cut Beef Go Ham, I'm Elfa, The Senate, Richard Berry, Ragnar, Skull Crew, and Depoyo44. You guys rock.